Hey, what's up guys? It's again me and I brought a new cool tutorial for you and this time I will show you how to create this nice 3D map. And before we start, I have to remind you about two things. First of all, I invite you to join my Instagram because there I post my daily life and even more useful tips and tricks. And also I remind you that the sponsor of my tutorials uh, is my class on Udemy, so if you want to know how to set your character rig and uh, create nice fake 3D rotation of your character, this class is for you. All links you can find below in the description of this video. Well, I guess it's enough of self-promotion and uh, let's start uh, animating this nice 3D map. Firstly, prepare the layers. I have one map and three rectangles, masks, and also you can draw a pin if you want to animate it uh, as well. Then set anchor points of the rectangle masks uh, so you have to align it uh, to the left and to the right borders uh, of each rectangle. Then create a null, I rename it as a controller, and after that link side rectangles to the central mask and the central mask to the null controller. Ok, great, then apply mask track to the map and then duplicate it and do the same for each part. Then link the map layer to the correct mask and make all layers as 3D layers. Finally, we can start animating. Animate white rotation of the side parts. You can do it just like you want. Uh, don't be shy and uh, show your creativity. And also, I recommend you to animate the rotation of the null to get the nice view of uh, the map. Because right now it's not very interesting to see the map in front of our camera. So you can rotate it, you can experiment with it. So. Again, be creative here. Ok, perfect, and uh, now we will animate bounce effects. You can use keyframes, obviously, but I prefer to uh, use bounce expression, and I hope I won't forget to add the link with this expression, so you can find it uh, under this video in the description. Also, I changed uh, the timing, it seems too fast for me, and after that move the precompose to the final composition and apply CC Bender effect. We also need to set top and base point, and of course animate amount uh, and uh, add bounce expression to this animation, just like we did before with other parameters. Ok, we are almost there, uh, now you can also shade side parts, uh, I use the curves uh, effect uh, for this goal. And as I said before, you can also add to this precompose uh, some pin animation, so it's just a shape, uh, I made it as a 3D layer, of course, align it uh, according to the map, and uh, then you can experiment with animation, you can animate scale, position or something else, even rotation, it completely depends uh, on your creativity and your idea. And that's it, it's really quick tutorial as you can see, but at the same time I hope you found something new here and this tutorial will be useful for your future projects. If so, please don't be shy and let me know in comments uh, and of course I remind you that like is also amazing a uh, way how you can support me as a creator. And of course I'm waiting for you in my Instagram and class on Udemy. And thanks for your time, see ya in the next video!